Hey everyone, this is uh, Gary with his uh, 2006 Grand Cherokee Limited with a Hemi motor that I just blew apart my Hemi motor uh, four wheel and a lot of you guys have been watching my videos. Um, I went through some water and then the uh, water got ingested into the motor. The motor lasted for a little bit and then um, the motor blew apart. Put a rod through the uh, both sides of the block, so the, the blocks totaled. I have a brand new uh, crate Hemi motor. It's just installed. I had water over the hood because, frankly, I beat this thing to death. But I'm going to show you something really cool. I was looking at snorkel kits, and the snorkel kits really uh, are terrible for this uh, for this vehicle. I mean, they really look terrible. So. Uh, you know, they come up through the uh, side of the fender well around this area and come up and they just really look like trash in my opinion. So, here's the solution. The solution is the urinal seal, which is pretty funny and a bunch of PVC pipe, but uh, this is a lot harder than it looks, a lot harder than it looks uh, to put all this stuff together. Uh, I have to give uh, credit to my uh, buddy uh, Troy Tucker who uh, put this together because frankly I was in Thailand you guys see a lot of my Thailand videos and anyhow it's a dual intake system the factory air box is empty now so but look how this really goes the pipes go back and they're flex jointed at different spots you have one two each side has a flex joint here then it goes into hard pipe so where does this go goes up under the vehicle and there's uh, exit pipes here where you can uh, drain in case you uh, somehow break pipes or something like that the uh, the piping goes up under here under the vehicle and uh, I'm gonna just show you where we're at right now we're behind now the passenger. Now these are all armor, full armor plated from 4X guard, so it's got a lot of protection here. And then right here, it goes up inside the vehicle. Now there's one on each side here. Now in the vehicle, it comes up here. This is the rear door on the right side, which is the passenger side. It comes up here. And uh, comes in the back behind the headrest. Now I'm going to show you up in here. There's a lot of stuff in my back because I'm, I'm prepared for uh, you know serious wheel. And, and there's can and air filters here. So I got another one on this side also. There's two big can ends, and uh, the piping is all down here. Now again, this is all custom made to have all the links and stuff like that. I'm thinking about making a kit out of here if there's enough interest. Um, and uh, even have everything custom done so uh, anyhow uh, this vehicle I drove it 50 feet into the Delaware River last night uh, during a uh, real nice uh, storm and uh, it was pretty funny because I'm thinking I'm gonna just float down the river with it to uh, test the watertight integrity on it um, but anyhow this puppy here is uh, is ready to float. I was even thinking about literally adding uh, like inflatable pontoons with a uh, compressor on the side so I can actually just float it, float it. Because I've already had this Jeep floating already. Uh, and then it sinks to the bottom and I just crawl out because I got lockers front and rear on it. Uh, terrific, terrific platform. A lot of armor plating on it. Uh, incidentally, before anybody says, oh my god, the pipes aren't armored. Uh, there's a complete armor system that we're putting on here. Uh, it's going to be um, steel plate on the bottom. It's all welded in around the pipes on both sides. Uh, they will be boxed, uh, double layered, and um, essentially, I mean, you'll literally be able to jack up the entire Jeep just on the armor uh, for the uh, plastic PVC. So uh, it's complete watertight snorkel system. It's uh, a uh, dual setup. Again, a lot of work to put this in. It's not uh, not an easy uh, easy thing to do the way this was because there's a lot of testing and designing and whatnot on it. But 
the exact sizes and, and shapes and things like that. Again, we could do, but uh, all the clearance issues were addressed here. Um, this particular Jeep already has the, like, the pinch weld mod and stuff because I'm running uh, 33s on this. Uh, I can put 34s on it, but uh, it's really not practical. I do drive this a little bit, but I also drive my Vipers and stuff too, so it's pretty neat. But uh, really, really nice platform for uh, wheeling. And it's, of course, it's all loaded up and has, uh, you know, uh, power windows and power seats and heated seats and uh, his and her air conditioning and GPS and six CD changer and... I got different custom uh, toggles for uh, my winch, which goes on front or rear. Uh, if you see the other videos, you see it. I have receivers and uh, quick connects for my winches, front or rear. I'm using an M8000 now, which I also sell. Uh, if you need a winch, let me know. Send me a message, email me. And uh, a lot of 4X guard uh, armor on this thing and uh just a fantastic setup and uh that's it i'm going to be uh floating this uh very possibly this evening and my camera is not that good for uh night stuff but uh got a four inch super lift kit on it and uh just really having a ball 43 years old going on 12 and i uh, wouldn't change it for the world and all you liberals that are supporting all these illegals you guys should be ashamed of yourself. They're costing us uh, tax money, a hell of a lot of tax money. And uh, Obama's aunt is a great example. They give her free housing. What a joke. But anyhow, uh, hope you guys are having a great day. And that's it. That's uh, Gary's WK Dual Snorkel Kit. Bye-bye.